why they could not get someone that would have been able to help, help him. A mental illness team that specialized in that. They did not do it. Raw anger and heartbreak from the family of a man shot and killed by an off-duty Pineville police officer last month. The grieving loved ones now demanding answers, specifically why his mental illness was not taken into account. Now, we've been following the story since it happened in mid-May. That's when that officer shot and killed Dennis Bodden, who's accused of shoplifting at a food lion. We're told the officer was patrolling the area when a 911 call first came in. It happened at the McMullen Shopping Center near the corner of Park Road and Johnston Road. Officers say Bodden tried to run away, then reportedly lunged for an officer's weapon before he was shot. WBTD's Claire Kopsky is joining us now live from that shopping center. Claire, this is the first time we've heard from Baden's family about his struggles with mental illness. What did you learn? Well, Siobhan, Dennis Baden's mother said that her son did not deserve to be killed. She says that he was battling mental illness and that that's something that the Pineville Police Department should have known from prior instances. However, the Pineville Police Department responded this afternoon, saying in a statement that they were not aware of Dennis's prior mental health history. Now, on May 14th, Pineville Police say that Dennis stole nearly $84 of wine and produce items from the Food Lion. He had two outs standing warrants for felony breaking and entering and felony larceny after breaking and entering, all of which took place at the same food lion. Today at a press conference with the NAACP, Dennis's mother says that she was that he was battling a bipolar and schizophrenia diagnosis that became more prominent following isolation during the COVID-19 pandemic. She spoke about his academic achievements, saying that he had a degree in biochemistry, was an attorney representing those with mental illness, and that he was in the middle of pursuing a master's in social work from Columbia University. She says that prior to the pandemic, he had not had encounters with the police. She also had a message for the officer who shot her son. Where was your humanity? Would you had want your son to be shot down like a dog in the middle of the street the way you shot, he killed my son? Where was your humanity? I raised Dennis by myself. Dennis was my life. The family told us today that they are looking into pursuing legal action, and we also learned that nationally recognized civil rights attorney Ben Crump has reached out to the family asking if they would like him to represent them. Now, coming up at 5, we have much more of the emotional interview with Dennis's mother and also with his aunt. That's coming up at 5. For now, we're live in Pineville. I'm Claire Kopsky, WBTV, on your side. Claire, thank you. So